all right thank you so much for watching these videos my name is Kamiya Simon and let's proceed all right so the first things first we are going to sign in and the URL to sign in is provided uh, right there on my website you can check okay then you click sign in all right so I'm going to sign in you can see crankluga at gmail.com and then the first thing we're going to do is subscribe for our product so we're going to go to our products okay and then we subscribe for a product so I'm going to subscribe for collections okay and then I get my the first thing I'll do is receive an email so if I go to my emails and then I look for the email I'll receive an email from Ericsson okay that confirms that I have subscribed for a product so after subscribing for a product After subscribing for a product, now if I go to my profile, I can see my product keys. All right, so you can copy this product key and paste it somewhere, or you can press show to show to see your product key. Okay, so you just press show and then you see your product key. Now, at the time of you creating these, you have already got the API user and the API key. All right, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my WW folder, so I'll look for a WW folder over here. All right, and then I create a folder, I call it MTN RW, and then I also create a PHP file, I'll call it RW. All right, so I'm going to go to my favorite text editor. So right now we want to get, uh, I go to the save API sandbox. Okay, so right now we want to get to create an access token. Okay. So we're going to go and then we we'll press try. All right, so my uh, 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 OPCM key is already here, okay? And then this is my authorization. So for me to get the authorization to get the token, remember the authorization, if you go back to the documentation, is supposed to be a B64 encoded and it's supposed to be with basic auth. All right, so. Let's see what to do. So we're going to go and open your favorite editor and mine is here and you can see I have PHP RW. Okay. And then I'm going to, first of all, paste my API user as provided by the administrators of the Randa API. I paste my API key as provided again by, so the API user and then the API key is the password. So the API password as provided the Randa API administrators. And then I'm going to create a variable called auth. And then I equate it to the API user. I concatenate it by adding a period and a colon to the API password. Now, I'm going to create another variable called credentials and I encode it to a B64 for the basic auth, okay? now whatever i get so i'm going to save so i'm going to echo credentials as my variable so whatever i get will be my uh, base 64 encoded value so let me go to my uh, local host and then run so this is done once it will never change you can see however much i refresh it will never change so all i have to do is copy this because this is now dedicated to my API key and API user. So I'm going to go to our sandbox, okay? And then the first thing I do, I'll type the word basic here, okay? And then I paste my best 64 encoded value and I paste it there, okay? So if I scroll down and then I send, I'll be responded with the 200, okay. So that is the status. And then the access token from the Randa API. All right, so let's go and see how to make a request to pay in the next video.